Okay, here we are outside the uh, Browning uh, Firearms Museum. So uh, we'll go in and see see what all the guns look like. Here it is. Some of the rifles. It's the wild, wild west, people. Let's go up the stairs. Let's see what's up here. Ah, there's somebody just sitting there, and you, you know the you know the history of this place. I sure do. What do you want to know? Uh, all about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to know the history of the Browning Museum or the history of the station? Uh, well, let's uh, go with the history of the Browning Museum. Oh, you don't mind being on film, do you? Okay, good. Okay. Uh, it was, when was it? It was in 1978. Oh, okay. This museum was yeah, uh, dedicated in 1978. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Val Bradley was here. Who? Oh, Val. Val. This is Val. Oh, Bradley. oh that's and Val. He is John M. Son. Okay. And all these guns, for at least the majority of them used to be out to what was called the Browning Armory. Oh. It's our National Guard mm -hmm. unit. And they were being stored out there and um, some gentlemen decided when that we needed them to, to, to save the Union Station. Right. And so they got to work and Will Scott rolling and they saved it. Oh, great. And decided to make this into the Browning Gun Museum. And it has fit very well. And the little shop there that has an interesting story. It was in the, the second floor mm -hmm. of what was the, the last gun shop of John and Browning, the third one. It's located on Kiesel Avenue between 24th and 25th Street. Sure, I know where that is. Uh, they, these gentlemen went down there one day and, and they knew that, you know, there had to be something of John M. Shaw left mm -hmm. someplace. And the, the relatives have said, well, you know, as far as we know, it's still down there. Oh. And they looked and looked and, and you know, and got permission to look on the second floor. And finally, one of them just bumped his head against the wall and, you know, tried to think, you know, how you do. Sure. And and it was hollow. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he knocked on it and knocked over there. And, and so help me, this was a different sound. So they got permission and knocked a hole in the wall. And lo and behold, when they had it was some lawyers' homes, mm -hmm. and when they had remodeled it, they just taken everything, shoved it in the corner, and then just built kind of a wall behind it oh. or around it. And uh, when they got in there, there was everything in the shop. Hmm. So when you look in the well, shop, well, I have to look in that shop and yeah. see what it's all about. Yeah. Okay. So, and and you just can start with the. The miniatures. Uh -huh. They're actual uh, miniature guns. Right. And they don't have anything to do with John A. Brown. He didn't. He he invented some of them. Right. But of course not that size. Mm -hmm. And they're strictly made by by different craftsmen for collectors. And um, originally they were used for like models to take around and show right good people mm -hmm. yeah. okay well i'm going to go around and uh, videotape some of those rifles over there okay. and um i thank you very much for that uh um information yeah sure and uh it's been great okay. all right thank you
Okay, here is an 1878 single shot rifle. 1878. Here's an 1882 lever action repeating rifle. Lever action repeating rifle. Okay, here's an eighteen ninety four lever action repeating rifle. Lever action repeating rifle. Okay, what do we have over here? Oh man, this goes back quite a bit. There's some pistols, Browning pistols for semi automatics. Shotgun. Here's a 1900 toggle action shotgun. Okay, some more Western Rook rifles here. 1893 pump action shotguns. Okay, let's keep walking. Some more pistols, 1911. Here's 1908, pocket pistols. Here's the first production model and the last production model. 1903 to 1976 and then 1976 to 1999. Final tribute. Well, we got we got some guns over here. Guns and uh, Browning. He was a uh, he was a, uh, a resident of uh, Utah, right up here in the Ogden area. In fact, just a couple weeks ago, they tried to make a, a holiday for him, but it was turned down in the state house. So I guess they'll try next year, make it a state holiday. I guess he was born on, on January 26 or something. <clears throat> we'll see if it happens. Hey, anything for a day off. <laughs> These are 22 calibers. Pistols. Automatic 
grab a sporty bar. Mm. This is Bruce W. Browning rifle designs. Different rifle designs. Okay, I gotta say goodbye for now because I've gone over 10 minutes. I don't know if it's going to go on YouTube or not. So, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.